Global market, retail expert David Fitzsimmons expects record business. Photo, David Konecki shoppers from the Republic splashed out 458 million euros shopping in Northern Ireland in a year, with those living close to the border taking swift advantage of a weak pound that has been battered by Brexit. They splurged on alcohol, cosmetics, food and groceries, medicines, clothes, footwear and sports goods, as well as fuel, according to the Central Statistics Office, CSO. The CSO figures show that of the €458 million Euros spent by border hoppers in the 12 months to the end of March this year, a whopping €286.5 million Euros was spent in Northern Ireland by those living in the border region. The figures don't include online spending or vehicle purchases. Food and groceries were bought by almost 66% of shoppers heading north, while nearly 55% bought clothes, footwear and sports goods, and 40% bought alcohol. Shoppers from Dublin forked out 89.5 million euros shopping in Northern Ireland, while households from the Mideast spent 24.1 million euros, said the CSO. The CSO said households in the region made an average of 16 shopping trips to Northern Ireland in the year. It added that 44% of households took shopping trips to the north compared to 14% of all households in the Republic. The average spend by households on each of their shopping trips to the north was €275, Euros, according to the CSO, with households from the Midlands spending the most, at an average of €363 Euros per trip. Thomas Burke, the director of Retail Ireland, an industry group that is part of business lobby group IBEC, said the scale of the spending in the north was down to the weakness of the pound against the euro. There has been a fairly significant uptick in terms of the level of cross-border and online transactions with UK-based retailers in recent months and it all stems from the devaluation of sterling, he said. That's the single biggest driving force, Richard Guinea, the chief executive of retail business group Dublin Town, said that given the fall in the value of sterling he would have expected shoppers from the capital to have spent even more in the north. David Fitzsimmons, the group chief executive of Retail Excellence Ireland, said that the coming weekend would be hugely important for retailers and that he expected it to be the busiest weekend on record. He pointed out the economy was close to full employment and many people would be getting paychecks this week. Mr Fitzsimmons also pointed out that retailers were now competing on a global stage. There are lots of southern red cars in the north today, but the big picture is global and it's online, he said. Meanwhile, research group Cantar World Panel predicted this week that Irish households will spend a record €1 billion Euros on Christmas grocery shopping. Another firm, Irish Insights, forecast yesterday that Irish people will spend an average of €606 Euros each this Christmas. Irish Independent